Hey guys, Mike here. So really quick, if there's any earnings that are gonna drive the market up and down, I like to go ahead and give you the news now. And so obviously you may or may not heard, uh, I was telling you the other day that Snowflake and NVIDIA report after earnings. And of course, we've seen this movie before, big tech giants report. They either hit the quarter, guide down, or something with the margins or whatever, people don't like it. And so the stocks get basically crushed. As you can see right here, NVIDIA has actually fought its way back up. It was down double digits. It's only down 6% now. So something on the call, they liked hearing. And so people started picking it up. Obviously, the, this company has been crushed down 43% year to date, along with other tech companies. Snowflake reports, they're down even worse. Uh, they're down 13% as of just a few minutes ago. Call obviously isn't going well because nobody's buying up the stock right now. You know, keep in mind this stock's down 60% year to date, and shockingly, just in November, this stock was a $400 stock, and now it's a $115 stock. It was down to 110 uh, about 15 minutes ago. And Snowflake, you know, being the first one to report, obviously falls executives forecast a narrower margin than expected i talked about that on an earlier video where margins are going to be uh, less than they actually wore a year ago in the same quarter they beat revenue maintain its full year guidance which was very surprising actually and you can see revenue i mean they beat it handily uh, without a problem it grew 85 percent year over year which is just astounding by the way i mean good lord in the prior quarter they grew 101 percent so obviously this is a growth company for sure but what analysts do not like hearing is you know when you're talking about smaller margins that's first and foremost second of all when they talk about their customers how they grew really fast you know a, lot, a year ago but now all of a sudden you see these same customers and other ones they're trying to acquire they just aren't consuming as much as they anticipated and they're having all kinds of trouble uh, and having to spend extra costs and so you know they don't like that and unfortunately for snow it actually got the death nail in it about two months ago when i saw this right here snowflakes buy because the actual progression of margins is what you need to look at and the net retention, which is over 170%, which is extraordinary. It does sell at 25 times sales, which is high, but it did sell at 100 times sales. And again, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you get something out of this, guys. And mind you, the stock was trading at $100 more when he said that right there. And so, yeah. And NVIDIA, which is the more important one, because this one right here, big player in the chip sector, obviously, and stuff. And you know unfortunately a lot of people waiting on this didn't exactly turn out how he wanted it to turn out nvidia out with its most recent quarterly report jared blickery what are the numbers Right, stock is down 10% in after hours trading, and that is on weak guidance. We're going to get to that in a second, but I first want to go over the first quarter numbers. Adjusted EPS was a B coming in at $1.36, and the estimate was for $1.30, so six cent beat right there. Revenue coming in at $8.29 billion, also higher than the street estimate of $81, $8.1 billion. That is a 46% year over year increase. And then in their two biggest segments, beats there as well data center revenue, $3.75 billion, gaming revenue, $2.62 billion. Uh, professional visual, visualization revenue, $622 million. A small miss there, but it's a smaller part of its business. Now, adjusted gross margin, 67.1%. Uh, estimate was for just 67%, so a beat there. And then finally, that weak second quarter forecast, they're seeing revenue of $8.1 billion. The estimate was for higher at $8.44 billion. Just want to show you the Wi-Fi Interactive right now. You're going to see our heat map of the chip stocks. A lot of green there. That's from earlier today. And those red boxes that you see underneath, those are today's results after hours. So NVIDIA down 9% now, Marvel down 3%, AMD down over 2%, guys. And the company's had impressive growth. If you ever want to know what they're in, I mean, they're in a lot of different things. Gaming, data center, professional visualization. You got EV they're into as well. And then, of course, they got OEM and other. And so if you go to the right, you can see starting in Q2 2021, the growth has just been exponential for this company. And you can see where it's projected to go. And, you know, no matter which segment you're looking at, but really looking at the bottom, I mean, in a year, they almost doubled their revenues there with everything they're doing. Obviously, the two biggest segments are gaming and the data center, but, you know, EV or auto is 
obviously going to continue to grow and stuff. And so, you know, it's impressive growth by the company. Unfortunately for this company, valuations matter now all of a sudden. And I think coming into the day, it had like a 40 PE ratio or something. Uh, one of the more expensive by a mile chip stocks out there as far as valuations. And any little slip, you know, it, it's going to sell off. Sorry, sold off massively. I mean, it was like $300 six months ago or something. So another one's just been cut in half. And, you know, this one's definitely on my list. I like the company. I like what they do. And if it continues to sell off, yeah, I mean, I'd love to have a, a nice position in this company. And let me, let me know what you think down in the comments. But, you know, not, not surprised you saw all the semiconductor stocks sell off as soon as this happened. We're going to see what happens uh, tomorrow with it if it continues to drag down. Uh, you know, this one, because these are really the, the last two big growth stocks I can think that are really reporting. I might be missing something, but, uh, you know, we'll see how it affects the market for the rest of the week. But I think it's just good to kind of get these out of the way and, you know, move on. The good thing is the more they sell off, the better the buying opportunity presents, right? That's kind of how you got to look at it at this point in time and just go from there. So just want to put a quick one out there to you guys. Have a good night and I'll see you later.